I know a lot of y'all are probably gonna be in the comments right now talking about it's about time you done done these recruiting videos I've been waiting I thought you were capping listen let me explain I'm a busy man you know one I have a full-time job and you feel me check the drip real quick and say SCV Tigers ROAR not playing with them ROAR you feel me I am a semi-professional football player so on the weekends I gotta do my stuff with that during the week I'm basically working every day nine to five hopefully one day I don't have to work at nine to five but that depends on y'all and me to create videos and you guys got to subscribe so please subscribe um, because I don't want to work every day long. I don't want to do it. On some real stuff, I don't want to make that an excuse as to the reason I haven't made these videos. Um, honestly, some of it has been laziness, um, but I am busy. I just got to find the right time to really these videos and do these videos out. These recruiting videos is going to be one every single week. Welcome to helping y'all get recruited! You already know what time it is. What's good, athletes? It's your boy Keiko, and welcome back to More Than Football. Right now, if you can't tell, I'm in the bathroom. The bathroom got carpet, you feel me? And that's a little steam and shower, and it's all a little pink. You already know what this video is gonna be, man. A while back, I told you I was gonna help y'all get recruited because I know how many players go under the radar, man. About my high school career, I was under the radar, so I know what it's like to be an underdog. And I wanna keep my word and really help y'all be y'all best selves, you know what I'm saying? Challenge yourselves to get to the highest level that y'all can possibly be at. The way I choose each athlete that I'm gonna cover per week um, is just kind of by email. Who kind of emails me first? There are some guidelines that you will have to email me with. So those will be in the description if you wanna be featured in one of these videos. Now, how are these videos gonna work? I'm gonna introduce the player to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys all the players vital. Uh, we're gonna look at the player's film. And then after evaluating the film, I will choose probably up to like 10 schools Deep just market. starting out um, to email. And I will show you what schools I'm gonna end up emailing and everything like that. Um, the reason I'm a viable source is because I know a lot of colleges because man, when I was getting recruited, I sent thousands of emails. When you're a football player trying to get recruited, you're literally selling your talents and selling your ability to a college or university, to a coach, to invest money in you, a scholarship, to help him make his team better. So you're literally selling yourself, you know what I'm saying? And it's hard. You may send 100 emails and get one reply, and that reply may be like, you gotta keep sending the emails and all that. Let's introduce our first player ever on helping y'all get recruited. This right here is history, baby. This right here is history. First player that I'm helping get recruited is my man's Adrian Wexler. Let's go! Adrian Wexler. Let's go! Adrian Wexler, El Segundo, California. He goes to El Segundo High School. He is a left tackle and his secondary position is defensive tackle. 235 pounds and 6'3". 6'3", 235, okay? Now, one thing that a lot of coaches are gonna look at about you is that weight. Can you put on more weight? Because if you wanna be a left tackle and, and a D tackle, they want you to be a lot more bigger. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you can't gain weight, but I'm just saying that 235, you gotta get that up. And that's just me being real with you. I'm not even, you know, trying to, I'm not trying to say bad things about you. That's just me being real with you. He's number 51. And based on this picture, man, hold up. Based on this picture, you kind of swaggy. Okay, I see you with the little uh, speed flex, you feel me? Your, your jerseys is pretty cold. That's a uh, that's a pretty nice picture. Let's get to your film, bro. I'm trying to see what you about. All right, y'all, so we got Adrian's highlights pulled up. Um, it looks like he's a junior. He doesn't graduate to 2021. So it's good to put this video out right now because it's always good to get on the recruiting process early, you feel me? So let's get right into it. Go ahead, hey, Lord, with you, with Adrian. We gonna see what you got. Uh oh, uh oh, the first play, the first play. You blocking the? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta run that back. I like your get off on this play, man. Look at that, Ugh. right through. You know one good thing about you being two thirty five, um, is you know you may have a lot, a lot more speed than most of these linemen. See how you do. Okay, lock it up. Stop playing. If I'm looking this way, it's because I'm looking at my laptop screen. Let's see what you're doing. Doing defense now. Okay, pass. Uh, chasing them down. Chasing them down. 
Look, man, I love players with high motor, bro. That's one thing, like, I play corner, and a lot of corners, I say this all the time, they don't like to tackle, they don't like to be in contact and all that, bro. I love contact, I love chasing down people, all that, bro. I love players with high motors, and Adrian, coaches, coaches are gonna like this too. Coaches love players with high motors, bro. They'll take that over talent any day, almost any day. You feel me? Let's see you on D-line. Your little footwork and all that. Damn, this play takes forever. There you go. Okay. Pushing through. Okay. High motor, bruh. Okay, with the little flex at, with the little flex at the end. Stop playing with him. Huh. Look at you blocking this man all the way down the field. He don't know what to do. And you still block the man. Stop. You. Hold up. Let me pause this. Let me pause it. You. Stop playing with Adrian, bruh. He'll pancake you. That's what I'm talking about, man. Ugh. 21 didn't know what happened. Look, you was finna hit him too. I like the way you play. For real, for real. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> man, you only 235, bro, and you look like you can move, bro. They may even put you at like, maybe like a fullback. I don't know. 6'3", 235. Lock, bro. Mm. Good block. They may put you at a smooth little tight end, bro. If you if you get your speed up, they could use you at maybe a tight end or something. Okay. Let's see what they're talking about. Uh, use them on a pool. Use them on a pool to see one thing. You know, I don't really critique a lot of linemen and stuff like that. So, you know, only thing I'm kind of looking for is just high motor, um, your get off, because that's very important, especially being a bigger dude. I love your motor, bro. You do got a good motor touchdown. And that's going, when, when a coach sees your film, that's going to attract that a lot. You feel me? You went straight for the legs. It's all right. Uh, look at you working down the field, though. I'm telling you, bro, you can low-key move, bro. I'm telling you, they may put you at tight end, sling you down. Maybe, nah, they might, a tight end, you could be at a 235. Get your block, and you still, man. Oh, my, my Mac got low battery, man. We ain't worried about that. Huh. Perfect hole. That, that touchdown was because of you. The running back didn't even do much. That touchdown was because of you. You created another hole. Oh, your team low-key smooth, I ain't gonna lie. Your running backs look like y'all pretty good, too. But, like, you're you're literally creating holes. Um, I've seen you block well on pass protection. Just the only thing that hinders you, it looks like, to be is your, your size. You feel me? Your weight. You feel me? A lot of people, because your primary position is left tackle. You feel me? Most left tackles, um, they're going to be, you know, close to 300 or 280, 290, you feel me? At least coming out of high school. That's the only thing that's hurting you. That's the only thing I can really see that's hurting you. So that's why I'm saying they may, like, convert you to, like, a tight end or may use you as a fullback because you look like you can move, man. Like, even on this kick return, look how quickly you get back. Room, room, stop! Playing with Adrian, man. Stop playing. Yeah, man. It looks like you can move, bro. Mm. Let's see this one. Look at that, bro. Like, I'm... All right, that's it, man. Basically, the gist of Adrian's film. Um, like I was saying, bro, the only thing that is really hurting you right now is your weight. You are a junior, so you do got time to put on more weight. But, you know, the way that you were moving in your film, honestly, I feel like you could play like a fullback. I, I mean, I don't even know about running back. I don't know how fast your 40 and everything like that is. Sometimes they need them thick running back coming through. Maybe even a tight end, you know, down the road. But a lot of these coaches, once they see, like, certain things in you, a lot of times they may give you an offer based on the fact that they're going to convert you to a whole new position. Um, Adrian, bro, your motor is great, bro. 
feel me? That's one thing that you cannot teach a player. Some of these players, they're highly talented, five-star recruits, but they don't have a motor. They don't play to the end of the whistle. They don't want to hit. They don't want to tackle. That's something you can't teach, bro. Just the way that you kept it in the DMs and everything you've been respect said that this was a blessing for me to help you. And that's you know what I'm saying. It just hits you different than when somebody comes expecting everything. So, Adrian, you're you're a great player. And don't let nobody ever tell you that, that you're not. And don't let nobody ever tell you that you can't make it. Because you will make it. You feel me? And hopefully I can help you make it. You know what I'm saying? And I know I joke a lot throughout these videos and all this stuff. But on some real stuff, you know what I'm saying? It means a lot for me that you trust me to be able to help you. Kudos to you, bro. So right now I'm in my email, Adrian. And um, I wrote up a little email for you. I'm going to put it up on the screen. Uh, Adrian sent me all this information that's down below. Obviously, I'm going to cut out his phone number and everything like that. But this is a perfect example of what you should send to coaches. Um, you know, everything that he sent me, his name, location, high school, vital, all of that. Because a lot of times these coaches don't have a lot of time, you know. So if you only tell them your name and your position, you know what I'm saying, it's like, well, what if they want more information? You know what I'm saying? You should put all the information that they would need right there. So, of course, talent matters, you know, when you're, when you're going into something like this. But at the same time, some of my high school coaches told me that I couldn't, you know, go to a D1 school and play, and, you know, I ended up doing it. So at the same time, I'm not going to put a cap on what you can do or what you're capable of. So since you are in California, um, there are a lot of schools out here. There's USC, there's Sacramento State, there's Cal Poly, San Luis Piso, or however you say that school. There's Cal Luther, there's College of the Redwoods or Redlands. There's a lot of colleges out here. So basically, um, those are the colleges that I'm going to email for. Right now, I'm on Cal Lutheran's football website. Uh, the thing that's crazy about this is that I was just at Cal Lutheran yesterday for my scrimmage. Um, but this is a good tip just for that y'all that are watching right now is this is kind of how you find like, you know, the college coaches emails and stuff. You got to go to their football page. Usually sometimes they have coaching staff. Sometimes they have the roster. And then at the end of it, you know, you got the coaches email. So you're going to take the head coach and every coach's email in here. Copy paste just like that. And you do that for every school. So uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, for a few other schools just off the camera and then we're going to wrap it up. All right, Adrian. So after this, um, I ended up emailing Cal Lutheran, Cal uh, Louis San Luis P. So however you say that school, Cal Poly, whatever it's called, uh, Sacramento State, and a few other colleges that I will include in an email going to you um, just to kind of keep that personal, you know what I'm saying? Because if you do end up playing for one of these schools, you feel me? I don't know. I don't want to just put all your business out there. I'm saying so um, I did email schools for you and I hope that this helps you um, just get exposure and help other players get to see you and you never know who's watching you know what I'm saying but if I could just say anything to you man just keep working bro and don't let anybody tell you that you're not gonna do this you can't make it to this level you can't do that it matters about how much work you put in and how, and how much you love this sport you feel me and just always remember that one day football is gonna come to an end you feel me? And that's why you get to be more than football. Figure out what you like. Figure out what you like doing. And all that, man. And you're, you're a good kid. You feel me? And, you know, I wish you all the luck, man. I'll be in contact. Peace!